What's up fish keepers and fish breeders. In this video, we're gonna be talking about DIY spawning mops, something that all of us could definitely benefit from uh, versus just buying breeding mops or trying to find moss even is becoming a challenge. So I got some stuff over on the table here to get us set up to build this little situation real quick. Me personally, I'm having a problem with my Corydoras trilineatus. They do not like to breed without a some sort of moss or bushy leaf plant of course um i have a couple things in here but it's not working so we're going to try a diy spawning mop and see if that helps so let's flip over to the table and we're going to start building a spawning mop so all we need is some really simple equipment first off we need 100 percent acrylic or polyester yarn either one will work um, the reason for that is wool will break down in water of course whereas acrylic and polyester will not um, so that's one thing you want to get this thing here is like two three bucks something like that it's super cheap next you want to get yourself some ping pong balls otherwise you can use um, like cork stoppers as well rubber stoppers don't work because they don't float now if you can clip it onto the edge or something like that you don't necessarily need something to float in my case i'm going to use something to float and then of course you need a scissors i got my awesome aquascaping scissors i'm going to make this look cool and then you need some kind of uh, notebook or cardboard or something like that that you can wrap the yarn around uh, to build your designated shape, I suppose you could call it. We're gonna go ahead and get this yarn opened up and I'm gonna start showing you what to do here. First step, we need to open up the yarn. Real simple, just rip the paper off of it and then find your entrance. This is the part I'm not good at, <laughs> but it's here somewhere. There it is. All right. So what you basically want to do, and the reason you want to wrap it around something like notebook paper is you want to gauge how long you want it to be. So the, the whole entirety of the mop itself is going to be just as long as this notebook, just because that's how long I'm making it. So what you want to do is you're just going to wrap it around here. I personally like like 50 to 100 times just because it gives you a lot more uh, mop to play with so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and wrap this around here All right, that should about do it. We're gonna cut off that little piece there. Now the cool part about this is there's a ton of this yarn left. I barely put a dent on this. So I should be able to make like 12 of these with this huge money saver versus buying them. Um, and then, like I said, the reason you put it on a notebook is so you can just slide it off. This is why I recommend like a softer notebook. Just makes this go a lot easier. Um, obviously it's not too difficult you can still get it right off but next thing you want to do is wrap your finger underneath in the loop just like this and then the first thing you're gonna to want to do is cut a little string to be able to tie this shut this is when it'd be nice if we had more than two hands <laughs> But basically you're just gonna tie that into a double knot. Or whatever you prefer, just to make sure it's tight. I cut off the excess because I think it just looks funny. All right, so then the next step is you're gonna straighten it out. And then you're gonna cut right down the middle of your mop which is going to give it the shape that you want there we go if you get any stragglers go ahead and snip them off too you can use those to tie stuff later all right so there's our general idea of a mop now what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these ping pong balls and then what you're going to do is you basically want to put the ping pong ball underneath that knot that you put in the top. Like I said, you can use cork as well, kind of wrap the, the yarn around it. Oh, 
get it nice and tight around there wrap a string around and basically you're going to tie a knot around the bottom just to hold that ball inside there again would be nice if i had four hands instead of two <laughs> there we go perfect all right so there you go real easy real simple there's our diy mop we're going to go ahead and throw it in the corridor's tank behind me um i like to rinse them off just to make sure there's no other contaminants on there and stuff like that um before i go ahead and add it to the tank you can boil it as well but boiling a ping pong ball uh doesn't always turn out the greatest so we're gonna go ahead and leave it just like this i'm gonna go rinse it off we got our mop we got our fish tank. Uh, hopefully this helps benefit these guys. If not, I know I can utilize this in multiple other ways being a breeding mop. But again, you put the ping pong ball on here for a reason. What that's gonna do is just help it float and it'll just kind of float around the tank or you can put it wherever you want it to go. And then, uh, yeah, obviously in this tank, like I said, it's gonna kind of float around. I'm gonna personally put it up in this corner. This is where the quarry spend most of their time. So hopefully I can encourage them to breed inside that mop. Um, but yeah, pretty cool idea. Definitely cheaper than buying them for sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not expensive or anything like that. It's a pretty cheap design all in all. But uh, yeah, really cool little tool to have in your aquarium. Plus DIY stuff's always fun. But yeah, there you go. There's a quick video for you on making a DIY breeding mop or spawning mop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's beneficial to me and these corridors. I would love to get them breeding. Um, I'm definitely gonna make some more of these as well. Uh, so you may see them in other tanks as well as more in this tank even in the near future. So that's it for this video. We got our DIY spawning mop or breeding mop, whatever you wanna call it here in this Corridoras breeding tank. Hopefully it benefits them and getting them to breed. They haven't done so well with just the plants in here. So hopefully that'll help. I'm unfortunately, I'm short on moss. Otherwise I would just do that as well. Two different ways you can do it. Both ways work great. Um, this way, definitely a lot cheaper than all the other ways though. I gotta say that for sure. So go ahead and check out this, the other videos I have posted. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe down below. And don't forget to get your notifications bell on if you guys are interested in future content and keeping up with daily posts and stuff like that, as well as when I post shorts. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.